versus jaguars today. Um, Turpentine Creek is home to two leopards and a black jaguar. And so uh, these cats look a little different, even though they look similar at the same time. So leopards are actually found throughout Africa and Asia. Though they're found in a lot of variety of habitats from the savannas, the grasslands, the rainforests, to the mountainous areas. So with that, that depends on their color, their fur as well. If they're living in the grasslands and the savannas, they're going to be more orange and yellowish in color. If they live in the rainforest they, or the mountains, they're going to be a little darker in color and grayer for hiding. And if they're in the desert, they're going to be lighter for that camouflage reason. So since they live in such a wide variety of habitats, they do have a wide variety of food that they eat as well. They do mostly go after the large hoof stock, but they will eat insects, reptiles, birds, small mammals, anything that they need to if those large livestock are not there. Leopards do weigh about 150 pounds, whereas a jaguar can weigh up to about 250 pounds. Leopards will drag their prey about three times of their weight directly up a tree, so nothing down below will feed on it, which is a very awesome aspect of these predators. A lot of times they are seen up in the trees um, relaxing in the sun, but also this is where they can get a better view of their prey down below. Leopards, as I said, are found throughout Africa and Asia, whereas a jaguar is actually found throughout the Americas. Historically, jaguars were found from Argentina all the way up into the Western North American areas. But unfortunately, due to habitat loss and fragmentation, uh, illegal killings and poaching, their main stronghold is now in the Amazon basin, though they are found in smaller areas and smaller populations, such as in Central America. So both leopards and jaguars face some of the same issues in the wild where they are being poached for their pelt, but also for their parts. Unfortunately, especially through the Asian community, Asian countries, there is a trade for animal parts. So it's very important when traveling, especially abroad, that you do look on your products to see if there are animal parts in them, whether it be a leopard, a jaguar, a tiger, a pangolin, you name it, all kinds of animals face this issue. Habitat destruction and fragmentation is a big factor for them as well. So basically what is happening is their habitats are being destroyed into smaller sections to allow for agricultural and other uses. So with this fragmentation, the animals are basically being boxed into a smaller area amongst themselves. So not being able to go out and travel the distances they should for breeding. So they are breeding amongst themselves in these smaller communities of these animals, which then can lead to inbreeding and it can actually lead to local extinction of that animal in that area as well. This also impacts their prey. If their prey doesn't have a proper habitat, then it impacts the cat's hunting ability. So therefore the cats might be going out a little further, um, closer to those agricultural areas and going after livestock. So they are therefore, unfortunately killed by ranchers and farmers for fear of their livestock. So they're actually doing a lot of educational aspects in these areas with those farmers and ranchers to try better aspects of husbandry with their livestock to try and prevent these killings and also prevent human animal conflict as well. Jaguars are larger than those leopards. As I said earlier, they weigh about 250 pounds. So they are next to the tigers and lions, one of the bigger big cats out of the five large cats that we have um, in, in the world. Jaguars actually hunt a little differently. So they are amazing swimmers and they actually will go after the skull of their prey. Most cats attack the neck. Jaguars will pierce the skull and bring the animal down that way. They will go after the neck as well. But jaguars will hunt the fish, the turtles, caiman. They have been seen many a times pulling caiman out of the river. They do go after large land mammals such as capybara and tapir as well. So the easiest way to tell the difference between a leopard and a jaguar when you're looking at them is actually by their circles or their rosettes. So you'll kind of notice from the sign that we have here, you're going to see a solid black circle um, on both leopard and jaguar, but that will open up into that large rosette. A leopard's rosette is going to be an open circle, whereas a jaguar's is going to look like it has a dot in the middle. That's a bullseye looking um, rosette. So if you see an image of them and it's an open circle, it's a leopard. If you see an image of them and it's a circle with a dot in the middle, it is a jaguar. Jaguars are more muscular in size, but that is really hard to tell from an image. So if you're here at Turpentine Creek and you're looking at our cats that we have here, we do have the two leopards, Spike our black leopard, Selvin our yellow leopard, and Bagheera our black jaguar. Bagheera is a little more boxier in the face and more muscular um, versus, leopard, versus our leopards that have a long slender face. Spike's mama was pregnant with him when we rescued her. Um, so he is technically from the state of New York, 
Velvet came from that Colorado rescue, the 115 animals. And then Big Era came from the Tiger King rescue that we did last year with the Department of Justice. And so even though they live next to each other and they are neighbors, they did not come from the same location. And last but not least, I did want to show you guys these. These are not real, but this is the actual size of a leopard and a jaguar skull. So it does not matter the size of the cat. If they weigh 150 pounds, 250 pounds, or 600 pounds, these cats are still predators, not pets. Um, but I wanted to thank you guys for joining us to discover a little bit more about our leopards versus our jaguars. Thank you guys.